Okay, please tell me more about this situation. We have Bridget, you are a healer, okay? You are a healer. So you may be the type of person that makes skincare. You may make um, little concoctions. Like I just made some some um, oil in this thing with some essential oils and stuff like that. So you may make your own oils. You may make your own candles. You may um, create products that help people with skin conditions and things like that. Or you make teas, tinctures, stuff like that, okay? So this is why you would have targets on your back, okay? Um, just like how homeopathic doctors have targets on their back and they're coming up missing and stuff like that. You are for the greater good. So of course there's gonna be forces that are trying to work against you. And they may come to you as if they wanna befriend you and they wanna help you with your mission, but they just wanna bring you down. But use this, this Pele, light your fire. Use this to light your fire. Use this to be inspired to keep going, okay? Don't allow somebody to hold you down. We have Nematona, safe space, okay? These people are not a safe space, but find a safe space. And you may have to to uh, go into hermit mode until you are able to figure out what you want to do. Because it's not easy when you're getting intuitive information about somebody working against you, but you don't have any evidence. They haven't. They they may be passive aggressive. They haven't really done anything clearly in your face. So you may be feeling like, well, dang, I don't want to just cut somebody off just because of that. You might have to go into hermit mode at least for a while. Maybe you don't cut them off completely, but don't tell them all your business. Don't let them know everything you got going on for sure. Don't let them know what you're thinking. Pay attention to what they say. Pay attention to what they do. Sacred medicine. Okay, so this is about a lot of you. If you want to know if this applies to you and if this resonates, if you're interested in healing, you could be a Reiki healer. You could be, like I said, make tinctures, make tea, make skincare products, um, sound healing, um, whatever it is, there's some sort of healing. You're not just a reader. You're not just a spiritualist. You're not just a medium, but you are a healer as well. Okay. You may use tuning forks. Um, what did I say? Sound healing. You may do EFT, CBT, um, all those different healing modalities, whatever it is you're interested in healing people. You may do inner child healing, but you do more than just, you're not just a reader for sure, okay? You have a much bigger mission. Maybe this other person is a spiritualist, but they're not a healer. Maybe they just, their job is something else. Maybe their job is just to be a medium or just to be a reader. And you have healing hands or you have a healing voice or you have healing energy people just coming around you makes them feel better something there's something you have that this other person does not have that they want so they're trying to stop you because at the end of the day what good is is only getting readings if you don't have some tools to help heal yourself? Because sometimes readings can be dramatic. They can be traumatic, meaning you get information that like confuses you, makes you sad, makes you angry. So you have to have be able to to go to somebody to heal as well. So then you may go to a Reiki healer. You may go to a massage therapist. You may go to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. You may go to a, a chiropractor, a sound healer. Somebody that has healing hands. A shaman. You all probably are shamans or have shamanistic abilities. You're multifaceted. And there's several lanes that you can work in. And there's other people that are extremely talented with what they do. But they're only able to really do one or two things. So they are upset with you because of that. Not everybody is called to be a healer. You can learn how to read cards you can learn how to read without cards everybody has intuition all we have to do is work on strengthening our intuition eat right drink more water all that you can you can work on you can train yourself to be more intuitive you can't necessarily not everybody's meant to be a medium though not everybody is meant to be a healer not everybody has healing energy that's not something that you can train yourself to have you can train yourself in certain modalities certain healing modalities but that energy that you have to have to go along with it not everybody has that so it's some people that's upset because you are a healer and a shaman and they don't have those abilities we have dryad protect your energy like i said y'all need to protect your energy 
Y'all need to cut these people off energetically. Why are there uh, drums being played right now? I'm talking about being a shaman. And somebody that lives in my apartment complex has some drums playing, like some, some ceremonial drums. I think that's very interesting. <laughs> some of y'all have shamanistic healing abilities, sound healing, maybe with drums, or you can play an instrument or something. Very artistic. People have a problem with that. You're very, very, very powerful, but you may come in a package that doesn't necessarily look powerful, but your energy speaks for itself and it's authentic and it cannot be faked. We have Star Maiden, rest. You all are needing to rest. You are getting this information in your dreams. You do need to protect yourself while you're sleeping. You do need to protect your dreams. Um, and you do need to rest so that way um, you kind of have a clear picture of what to do once you start getting these intuitive hits about certain people. Because what good is getting the information and you don't know what to do with it? <laughs> you need to rest so you're thinking clearly. And they may be causing situations or trying to create blockages that will cause you to lose sleep and have anxiety and all of that. And that is why we've been going through this blind faith lessons. You're going to have to have blind faith and rest assured that your higher powers got you. Okay? What they need you to do is cut off certain people. Do your part on the 3D. Whatever you can practically do, do that. If you've run out of options, if you've done everything you could do practically to get out of a certain situation then you have to leave the rest to your higher power. You may be going through one challenge after another. You have a problem, you solve it. Somehow that solution falls through last minute. Maybe if you're telling a certain person all your business and you're telling them, oh, I had this problem, but I figured out what to do, I'm gonna do this. And they over there, all right, that's what she gonna do? Well, I'm gonna block that. That's what he gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to make that not work. So you may have to just withdraw. Write in, write in a journal if you need to get your feelings out. Talk, like record yourself speaking like in a dictaphone or something if you need to get your feelings out. <laughs> Talk to a voice recorder or something. Talk to your higher power. Pray. Now's the time to pray and lean on your higher power and your ancestors and talk to them out loud. They keep on talking about talking out loud or singing. Some of y'all need to dance to release some of this tension. So do some dances. Listen to some music. We have HOD, which I think is HOD. I'm not sure. It says tell the truth. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier when I was saying there may be people who have done things for you to help you, but these people are liars and they may talk negatively about other people or they may cause chaos and confusion. And then somebody comes to you and they need confirmation. Did this person do this? Did this person say this? And they want you to lie. Don't be lying for people. People need to stop lying and then expecting you to go along with their lies to save their reputation or save face for them. It's time for people to start standing on their words. I, I've been telling people, don't tell me nothing and then tell me I can't tell nobody what you said. And I'm talking about in situations where somebody comes to you and is like, so-and-so was talking bad about you. So-and-so did this. So-and-so did that. But don't tell them. I Look, don't tell me nothing and then, and then tell me I can't say where I heard it from. Because how am I going to confirm that this was true? Because there's a lot of people that lie on other people and they will come to you and say somebody said something about you and they didn't. Or they changed up their words. They're trying to pitch you against other people. They don't want you to be able to compare notes. So they telling that person that you said something about them negative. And then they telling you that you said that they said something about you negative. And then they getting both of y'all mad and then both of y'all start talking about the other person to them. Well, if they said that about me, well, what about this? So now you giving this person all your, all this backstory about what happened between you and so-and-so. Meanwhile, this person has been lying and playing both of y'all, but then telling both of y'all, but don't tell you. Capricorn Moon Goddess said this about you, but don't tell them I said it. Meanwhile, you lying on Capricorn Moon Goddess. Capricorn Moon Goddess didn't say nothing like that. But they don't want you to say something because then it's gonna be found out that they're a liar. So tell the truth. People need to stop saying stuff that's not true and then getting mad when they get caught up in a lie. Stop lying on folks. 